picture of you yes. <laughs> hey friends welcome back to my channel look who I'm with it's Judy we're in Kentucky we're actually in Louisville um, Judy picked me up at the airport yesterday Yay. and so we have um, some fun planned today we got up this morning we ate some breakfast went on a little bit of a walk drank our coffee and so now we are headed out to um, Hobby Lobby oh Hobby Lobby <laughs> So we're going to go to Hobby Lobby, but then we do have a reservation at the Kentucky Derby Museum mm -hmm. at 11-ish or so. So we're going to, we'll bring you with us, we'll show you that, and then we're just going to go on from there, but then we're going to end up at uh, my scrapbook loft, which Starting I'm so excited Hobby. about. So, <laughs> all right, so we'll catch up with you guys in just a few minutes. is always fun shopping with friends isn't it <laughs> yes it is and so we stayed at the courtyard by Marriott which was really convenient because it was right near the Louisville Airport and then also easy access to get to the Kentucky Derby Museum so I was so excited to um, be able to go Judy has never been she's li lived in Kentucky all of her life and so it was perfect she got to go for the first time with me and I was really excited to go because we love the movie Secretary Secretariat. Have you seen that movie? Oh my gosh, Raleigh and I watch it probably three times a year and we root on Secretariat. The Kentucky Derby Museum. Way back in 1800, there was a gentleman by the name of Colonel Meriwether Lewis Clark Jr. He was the grandson of William Clark of the Lewis and Clark Expedition. He got married and he went to England on his honeymoon. And while he was there, he went to the Epsom Derby, which we say Derby here, but it's the Epsom Derby. He liked it so well that he wanted to bring that idea back home. So when he got back here, he got in touch with his uncles, John and Henry Churchill. They had a farm way outside of Louisville, and they agreed to lease the land for a racetrack. He also got some other people involved, some other investors, and they formed the Louisville Jockey Club. And the very first Kentucky Derby was held in 1875. And if you all will look up here, you're going to see the names of Kentucky Derby winners through the years. And they do go on around the building. But in 1875, our first Kentucky Derby winner was Aristides. There were over 10,000 people here. And you all, we didn't have that many people living here. They came from all over. And it was a very well-to-do event. So. After that, things went pretty well for the first few years, but by the 1890s, things weren't going well at all. And you'll see 1891, Kingman, Kingman holds a record here. His record is the slowest race. <laughs> he ran it in two minutes and 52 seconds. And Kentucky Derby Museum is right next to Churchill Downs, so we got to go out onto the track, and our docent went with us to give us some great information. So welcome to the track, everybody. This is the original track from 1875. It took two years to dig. It's 80 feet across and 25 feet deep. It's made up of 75% sand, 23% silt, and 2% clay. And just on the other side of this dirt track, which is a mile around, is our turf track. So after telling us about the track, our docent departed and invited us to walk out to the stables, to go into the gift shop, to stop in the cafe for a mint julep if we wanted. Um, so we just had a really fun time going through all of those different places, taking a few pictures. I can speak for both Judy and I and say that we both enjoyed the museum very much and would definitely recommend it.